Record six and two. Last opponent was uh, Dustin Rhodes. I won first round TKO. So I want to try to keep the fight up. And if it goes to the ground, I'm not worried uh, because you know I you know work a lot off my back. But uh, you know we'll just have to you know go see how it turns out. Hi, I'm Morrison Butler. I train out of LA Boxing, Atlanta. I train with Steve Hedden. I'm a purple belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, brown belt in Judo. Um, I'm ready to go to the fight party. Uh, I just love to train. Uh, I was a wrestler for several years. Um, since that, um, I've also been doing, uh, I did Judo at the college level. Uh, I came to Atlanta. I was on my way to go on a surf trip and I started training Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I met Steve Hedden and Chris Stolzman. Uh, it's just another opportunity to compete. You know, I enjoy it. It's also good, it's good PR for the club. You know, I, I have several. Um, several gyms here in Atlanta, and it's good, it's good public relations. People ask, uh, what qualifies you to teach people how to defend themselves? Well, I do no rules fighting. I'm a yeah. walking billboard. Uh, there's less pressure on me. A lot of people fight because they have to or they need the money. Uh, I'm, I'm fighting strictly because I want to. Uh, there's yeah. people that are, are afraid to lose. Um, the, the key is you have to be training up. If you never lose, then you become king of the chumps. It's, it's a scary thing. You're out there, you know, you know the guy's going to try to kill you. Uh, man, you get very nervous. Typically, after a fight, win, lose, or draw, I usually throw up from nerves. But usually after the fight, you're getting crazy, you're freaking out. But then you get out there and you get hit once and everything's good after that. You know? uh, the worst fight I ever had, I got hit on the chin and knocked out. That was my, that's the least injury I ever took. I was, it was over. Just, I was done. Um, the fights that I win, I come out and beat the shit. <laughs> Black eyes, I had a pretty bad concussion. Um, uh, really, I, I don't get injured much. I'm fighting uh, Chris Clodfelter. He's a good guy. He trains out of South Carolina. Um, I did really well against him in a submission fight. Uh, he had said that he thinks he would be able to knock me out because he didn't think I had to stand up, which is cool. Um, I'm much more comfortable on the ground. I'm a grappler. I'm, I'm for sure I'm a wrestler. I'm going to get it on the ground. And even if I'm on my back, I'm fine from the guard. It doesn't matter. Oh, he's going to try to knock me out, for sure. He's probably going to try to leg kick me and then come upstairs. I'm ready to rock, though. Sure. The toughest part of this fight's easy. Um, I had to go to South Beach, Florida to train with Pat Asselin down there to work my stand-up and my ground game. And being in South Beach for a week not going out uh, is definitely the most rigorous part of this regimen. Did both fighters win those fights you saw? They definitely went right to the lockup right away. Matthew, which position would you rather be in in this situation? Right now, actually, uh, Scott has got the better position than I would want. Uh, Work toward the center. Although Morrison, I'm sure, can do a lot of positions. Work toward the center. Don't make me have to stand up. LA Boxing is hard, it's the hardest one to try to predict. Right they actually do a lot of stand up and a lot of ground spells. They actually want to take fire to the ground. Nice. It might be a good call, it might be a bad call. It doesn't really depend on the gear skill on the ground as well. Now, in the two fights you saw these guys in earlier, did they dominate the two fights that they had before? Or? Actually, it was actually a. Uh, Give me this belt. Move them into a split decision. Watch your head, boys. Watch your head, boys. Yeah, a lot of people actually said they maybe should have gone the other way. So it was a real tug-and-pull battle there. Watch their head, boys, Marshall. And what about Quad Delta? Quad Delta is, he's an animal as well. Uh, he's, got, he's got a lot of skill. He has a really good skill. Casey Oxenon is a tremendous... Hey, headbutt, headbutt. Watch your head, Marshall. There's a lot of great fighters out there. You see Morrison trying to pull through and... Uh, He's got half, half guard right now, half mouth. Fatigue's got to be a factor when you're locked up like that. You, when you've grappled before, man, did you notice the same difference? Definitely. Um, right off the bat, you're going to be 100 miles an hour. He's going to find a position, he's going to relax, he's going to relax, he's going to pull back in his head. You don't work towards the alpha on the rope, he's going to stand you guys up. He's not really worried about the fist right now, he's just going to pass down. Good job, good job, good job. Trying to establish his game on the ground right now. I think he'll, he'll get his head. I think uh, Morrison will actually try to pull. 
Clobbed over his head out of the game with his feet. And he'll pull to the guard in a second and get pulled him out. But the team will win. Right now, the clock doesn't think about all the strikes going on the top. He's not really thinking about the feet that this has got. Hard shots going in. Clock over his got a lot of heart. I mean, he's not going to stop for anything. He knows he's in a bad position. He's going to try his best to get out of that right now. You know, he's taking the blunt of that punishment with that forearm strike. Oh, that shows you what that expires so in case the Oxford can produce it. Some strong strikes with that forearm across the jaw. Just enough to run him to make him tap, but not enough to actually take him to get out of the fight game. Now he wants you know, to get back in no matter what. He knows he tapped on something that's something right there and then, but not something that would do his damage. Uh, LA Boxing getting another secure to win.